Uh, this is Newberry Mountain on the uh, web recorders for the Pacific Northwest PNSN and I'm going to show you some abnormalities on chart set that I've seen and this is just a few examples there's numerous examples of this um, at any given time uh, but we'll scroll through these this starts out on the 20th of November 2012 and again it's later in the day it's the next day in the morning and then it ends on uh, that day um, this is a temporary node near Searcy Arkansas notice the pattern in the in the lines there's like an energy field with inside each line and then a release I've noticed a correlation between this and radar stations and it's a theory uh, but I believe all things are possible given the circumstances with uh, electromagnetic energy the possibilities of science I believe all things are possible here's another example then we're going to get into Yellowstone notice the wave pattern uh, in these lines uh, very abnormal this is for uh, the one on the right is from yesterday and uh, on the 22nd and the one on the left is from the 23rd till present which was a couple hours ago uh, this one here is notable this is also from Yellowstone the previous one is from Mary's Lake uh, this is from uh, LLX I believe Lake or LYX Lake uh, but what's notable is the uh, blue, black, blue, and the diagonal. Uh, those straight patterns, we're seeing that on Siri recorders also. Uh, it's notable for the fact that it um, is odd. It's a straight energy pattern. It's not like a earthquake that has a larger P wave and then it uh, slowly uh, tapers off or has an energy coming into it and then grows and then oscillates in different lengths. Uh, it's pretty straight even, uh, but we're seeing that in many locations. Virginia, um, Tennessee, Arkansas, North Carolina, and here uh, at Yellowstone. We're seeing it in many different locations. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, what I believe is causing uh, some of the abnormalities that we're seeing. Uh, you'll see this radar station here turn on and then you'll see this one turn on uh, you'll see a constant energy in Wyoming uh, facing to the southeast energy field what I believe on the left in Idaho is a negative charge and the uh, one in Montana is a positive charge and I believe those are uh, penetrating the mountain one being positive and the one in Idaho being an induction and possibly the one in Wyoming being an induction also to help uh, pull the charge through the mountain this here will uh, show you the energy coming out of the next red station if you notice the colors on the bottom uh, will show you what energy level is being transferred out and this is relatively calm on this day uh, many times we'll see red into purple into white which is the strongest energy field that they put out the most heat and uh, this is an example of what I think is causing these odd returns and possibly earthquakes also I've seen on many different uh, instances where I've seen radar and then earthquakes following day uh, sometimes two days afterwards and here's an example of of the transfer of energy within next red stations note that the you'll see flashes of lines and you'll see like a uh, a dribble effect of, of energy coming out of those lines from one station to the next they're transferring the energy over from one site to the next and then it releases uh, a lot of these are occurring in naturally forming magnetic fields that naturally occur within the earth 
and I believe they're using the next thread stations in conjunction with that um, to help propagate the the gases out of the ground and pull them up using liquid to force liquid into the the fracking sites and if you can add pressure through manipulations of media you can push that fracking material up if you can crack the ground uh, using energy to interlock different fracking places together then you only have to propagate one area to force pressure into that zone to force the rest of the gas to the surface. Um, the byproduct of this I believe is the earthquakes that we're seeing. Uh, the byproduct also from our previous MIT video I believe some of the booming sounds that we're seeing is is from that from that release of energy we're seeing flashes Oklahoma just had a, a massive thunderbolt that rattled houses uh, very strange uh, I believe this this should be looked into as a plausible example all things are possible these days we have so much more knowledge than we know what to do with anymore it's just a matter of when we figure it out how to do something is it possible in closing I'd just like to leave you with the uh, ANSS uh, animation map for recorded earthquakes uh, for the last I believe it's five days uh, anything is possible we're in an era with faster processing chips faster computers that we're making new discoveries all the time new applications of our understanding of technology is being put into practice on a daily basis being researched every minute of every day it wasn't so long ago that that in relative terms they played with the idea of going to the moon it wasn't too long ago that they played with the idea of lasers with the Star Wars program and many other different things cell phones uh, LCD TVs wireless transmission all these different things these different applications have come through but at one point somebody had told that person that nah that's stupid or no that's crazy they can't do that well guess what every day something new is coming up so if we leave our minds open all things are possible thank you for watching and I appreciate it